guys, it's a dude who talks and welcome. So last weekend I was lucky to snag a ticket for New Toyed Man at the soup kitchen which was completely sold out. It was part of the Brooklyn Brewery Tour which they um, put bands on um, in a small venue for five quid. And also with that, you get like a free beer and a free lighter. Pretty decent, right? So did I like the gig regardless of the fact that I paid five pounds, I got a free beer and a free lighter? Or was it complete dog shit and a waste of my time? Let's find out. So, for those who don't know, Mutoid Man are a band that was formed in 2012. It features Stephen Brodsky on guitar and vocals. You may well know Stephen Brodsky from the band Cave In. Also features Ben Collar from Converge on drums. And also Nick DiCasio, I really hope I got that name right, on bass. Um, best way to describe the sound... Now, Mutoid Man are kind of hard to pinpoint, but I'd say they're kind of similar to Cave-In in terms of hardcore, but they've got like a lot more metal elements in it, like a lot of like solos and big beefy riffs, and they're quite fun as well. Also, it's worth telling you that Mutoid Man are also on a show called Two Minutes Too Late Night. They're the house band on that. Do highly recommend that you watch that, it's really funny. Um, they've got two albums out, the most recent is War Moans, and the album before that was Bleeder and an EP called Helium Head. Okay, now that shit's out of the way. So, opening up for Mutoid Man was a band called Shook. Um, Free, free man band and um, best way to describe the sound from what I heard live is they kind of like psychedelic stoner rock kind of similar to some bands like Torch kind of fast and accessible but yet like slow and chunky that's how I would describe it um, from the right off the bat it was the sound was like cranked up to the max it was really loud, but that was cool because you could hear all like the thumping bass lines, the pummeling drum beats, and obviously the loud as fuck riffs. It was, they were really enjoyable and they were really energetic. That they brought the A game, um, standout moments when the guitarist jumped into the crowd and started playing. I thought that was cool. So all in all. It was really enjoyable. Kind of wish I bought the tape off them at the merch stand, but ah, uh, you win some, you lose some. Oh well. So now it was time for Mutoid Man. Sadly, without Ben Collar, but he had a arm injury, so sadly he couldn't take part on the tour. But his replacement was more than up for the task. Uh, I've seen Mutoid Man twice before, so I kind of knew what to expect. They're a band that are really fun, they don't take themselves too seriously, have some good banter with themselves and also with the audience, which I will get onto a bit later. Uh, they opened up their set with Melt Your Mind from War Moans. Um, the set was more or less um, from that album which I was more than happy with. It's an incredible album, but they did go back to a couple of songs with from Bleeder and Helium Head. Um, they closed off the set with Narcissist from Helium Head as well. So that was cool. Yeah, the crowd was absolutely loving it. There was a pit and everything. And I wasn't going to let anxiety um, get the better of me like it did with Caving. I joined in and I bloody loved it. It was really loud, um, it was sweaty, oh, it was, it felt like a proper gig. It was, yeah, incredible. It was a really fun set, and yeah, 
a couple of funny bits as well with the band. Um, for some reason, um, Nick um, passed his bass guitar to someone in the audience and said, do you want to just come up and do it? And he actually did. I was, I was like, what? And also, um, throughout the set, they were like chanting, five pound Chris, five pound Chris, which was quite funny. So yeah, awesome. So, merch I bought. I was tempted by buying Warmones on vinyl, but I've already got it on CD, so it's like, eh. So I decided to buy t-shirts, because, you know, I've got loads of them already. So I got this really cool design, and against my better judgement, pardon me, I bought a hoodie in a very sweaty venue, and I had to wear it. Oh my god, I was dripping. But yeah, I kind of wanted one that um, re would replace my torch hoodie, which the zip broke, and I got a little bit sad because I really liked that hoodie. So I got a Mutoid ma Man one. So yeah. Pretty bitching. So, there you have it. Those are my thoughts on the Mutoid Man gig. Um, were you there? Please let me know what you thought about Shuck and Mutoid Man down below in the comments. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Cheers to all who've subscribed already or liked the video or even bothered to watch. I really fucking appreciate it. Also, I'm on Facebook if you want to be part of that. Don't have to if you don't want to. And I, that's it. Uh, apart from all I've got left to say to you guys is that I've been the dude who talks. And cheers. Ah, oh, still here. Alright. Well, the video's ended, but while you're still here, I'll just let you know there's videos to the left and right of me. So, yeah, get watching if you want. Um, talk about cool shit like music and live stuff where I go to gigs, um, talk about vinyl hall and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, fill your boots.